This is the best feature of ExpressLRS and it's called a backpack. What it is, is a radio receiver wired to your video receiver and this allows you to use the Lua script on your transmitter or radio to change the channel on the video receiver and the VTX at the same time. And it even works with HD0. All you need for this to work is an ESP based transmitter, i.e. one that can be updated via Wi-Fi, an Express LRS receiver in your quad and a VTX that has smart audio or ISC tramp and an ESP based receiver wired into your video receiver. There is a full list of compatible devices on the Express LRS website. There are three things you need to do to set this up. The first is wire a receiver to your video receiver, flash it with the Express LRS backpack firmware, and then flash the backpack firmware to your transmitter or radio. Here is how you wire it up to the HD0 VRX. First, you need to remove these four screws and open up the case, then solder your RX to the UART that's staring you right in the face. I'm using an EP2 receiver and I've broken off the SMD antenna because it's too tall to mount. You can use an EP1 which would have the UFL connector and because these are using the Wi-Fi chip to communicate to your transmitter, you don't actually need this. To set this up in ExpressLRS, first you need to download the latest configurator and then update your transmitter to the latest 2.3 firmware. Then you need to select backpack on the left hand side and select your transmitter target click build, and then move that file to your desktop. Go to the ExpressLRS Lua script on your radio and select Wi-Fi connectivity, and then hit enable backpack Wi-Fi. Connect to the Wi-Fi network and then flash your TX with the backpack firmware. Head back to the ExpressLRS configurator to the backpack section and the target that you need to select is based upon what VRX you're gonna be wiring it to. For me, it's gonna be HD0. Hit build and then move that firmware file to the desktop. Power on the VRX and wait for the receiver to appear in the Wi-Fi network, connect to it, and then flash the backpack firmware to the RX. Then to set this up in Betaflight, all you need to do is make sure your VTX is working via Smart Audio or Tramp, and in the Setup tab, make sure Telemetry is ticked. For the HD0 VRX, update it to the latest HD0 firmware, which is available on the HD0 website. Now, all you have to do is go to the Lua script on your radio, select VTX Administrator, and then set the channel to what you want for video. Boom, that's done. If you do have any questions or running into trouble, drop them in the comments below and I'll do what I can to help. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.